Welcome to the Relationship Marketing Podcast, where we give you actionable step-by-step tips that you can copy and paste into your business. I'm Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Today, I'm joined with our moderator, Hannah. Hannah, how are you today? Good. How are you, Brad? I'm doing good. What are we talking about today and how can this help businesses? All right, guys, today we are going to be speaking about the professor method. So Brad, would you tell us a little bit about that? Something I came up with last year, because a lot of business owners out there, they get so caught up with needing to do advertising and marketing, but those are only temporary fixes and they don't build trust automatically for people. So I decided to create the professor method that turns a business owner into a college professor, someone teaching their audience. So those clients come in on autopilot. Nice. And would you um, tell me a little bit about like what platforms are involved and if someone was interested in becoming uh, an educator? And that's the thing. You have to find what's best for you. And a lot of, that's one of our main questions we get back is, do I have to be on camera? Should I be writing blogs? Should I be a writer? My favorite is to make a YouTube video. And then we turn that YouTube video into a podcast, use the transcriptions from the podcast and turn it into a blog. And what that is, is you don't have to have some hyped up interactive video that is entertaining. Like it's supposed to be boring, but educational. You need to be teaching your audience. So when they do become a customer, they already have learned from you, which makes you stand out as the authority. Think of yourself as a college professor in a room full of students. They're looking up to you and learning from you. Nice. And Would this kind of be an everyday thing for people? Um, Is there a sweet spot in the length of videos that they're doing? That's, That's funny. That's the first thing people ask me every time when we set them up for this. And the key is consistency, I think. So if you can only do one a month, plan out one a month. Um, my ultimate you know, idea and guide would be one a week. If you can do spend an hour a week creating educational content, just getting on camera, you can even use your phone. Like I started off just using my phone to make an educational piece of content and they don't have to be too long. They can be anywhere between you know, two to 15 minutes. I think five minutes is a good sweet spot. Um, it's not too long, not too short, but you're able to get the education across and then give a call to action at the end, go to our website and fill out the form. If you need, uh, if you have more questions. Definitely. I mean, that's definitely doable. Could you tell me a little bit about the benefits for business owners and entrepreneurs if they were to, you know, try to get that five minute once a week video in? Well, I could speak for ourselves because we were averaging multiple leads a day now and they're qualified leads, which is cool. Um, but I'll use some beta users. We've got a couple of people that have done started doing this last year when we started it. But what they're saying is now they're not just getting leads questioning them that aren't qualified. They're actually getting leads that have learned from them and already trust them reaching out. So if you ever do sales calls or speak with somebody on a a Zoom or a sales call, usually they're uh, skeptical. They're not sure. They think you're going to try to sell them. Um, That's especially people that come from an ad. 50% don't show up. So if you're listening or watching this video right now or podcast, you can relate. Like, yeah, 50% of people don't show up to my scheduled appointments, or a lot of times they're not qualified. They don't even want to give me their phone number. What's different in the feedback I've gotten is they're asking me questions on how they can start because you're the one that's been educating them. So they've been learning from you. They've been watching your YouTube videos, reading your blogs for the last week, month, year sometimes, and they already trust you. So they're already excited when they do get on that sales call. It's just as important for e-commerce because they probably watched a product review, read a blog about the product. So they already are ready to buy it because they've already done their research first. You don't have to sell them. So that's been the cool results that we've seen. Definitely. Well, that's great because I know you've talked a lot about in the past the importance of um, videos because they can see your face, learn from you, and like you said, build that trust. So, Well, that's exactly why we call this the Relationship Marketing Podcast. We can't go meet everyone face-to-face. So the next best thing is being on video, which is why we record our podcast on video. So you can actually see who we are, see that we you know, know what we're talking about. We can provide value, but that just makes it so much easier for somebody to become a client because then they feel like they have that relationship with you. Definitely. 
All right. So um, what results have you specifically seen from it so far? Well, for, at least for our business, we were averaging just a couple leads a month um, from we were just doing, you know, general generalized blogs. I was doing a video maybe once a month on YouTube. Um, and we were just posting sporadically on social media. So a couple of leads a month, that's pretty good. But now we're averaging a couple of leads a day. And the difference is those one to two leads a month were coming to me skeptical, like I mentioned. Now they're coming to us. Hey, I've watched all your YouTube videos. I'm ready to sign up. And that is such a change. And now it's going to be a compounding effect. All those people that are going to watch the video today will be coming in in a couple of months. While the people that started a couple months ago will start becoming a client now, and that compound effect will really help. It also helps with upselling and offering other services to people because they already have trusted you. They've watched your videos, so they're interested in more things that you can help them with. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, why should people make educational content? I know we've kind of already covered this, but... Um, also, what I'm wondering is how do people know what kind of content is going to align with their future? So educational content makes you the authority in your niche, just like the professor. People are going to look up to you because it shows that you're an expert at that thing. So I think the biggest obstacle people come is, oh, I don't want to give away free advice because they'll just take it. Well, 99% of people, if you use this stat in your head, will actually learn from you, but not actually implement it. So you can give away the secret sauce knowing the 99% will actually never do it, but they'll turn to you to hire you. So they say, oh, I just learned that for free. That was the best advice I've ever gotten. Maybe I'll do it. And they'll think back in a week or two and they'll see another video from you and they'll think in their head, actually, I don't have time to do it. Let me just hire you know, Brad or let me just hire you instead. So now they know you've provided a ton of value. They've learned something from you. They realize they can't do it on their own. So now they're going to hire you because you're the go-to. You're the expert. And that that I think that's really key there. All right. And lastly, how can a business or entrepreneur do this for themselves? Pull out your phone and hit record. It's easy as that. <laughs> Super short and sweet. That's right. And I think, you know, I started... I was told not to do this, but I started a couple of my YouTube videos. This may be boring, but it's going to help you. It's going to get you to where you want to go. Um, so you could use it the other way around. This isn't going to be entertaining. People aren't there. To, people go watch Mr. Beast for that. That's different. But they want to come to you and learn from you. So you can make it as boring as possible. Just get on camera, record yourself for five minutes, giving teaching, education, giving your best advice. Turn on the webcam on your computer, share your screen. The main thing is just educate them in any way possible. It doesn't have to, you don't have to have fancy editors. And if you do want to make it look cool, we always recommend people go to Fiverr. You can hire someone for five or 10 bucks to edit your videos and make you a cool thumbnail. So low cost education, make it a little cool and get it uploaded. The goal is consistency. Just get it out there. Absolutely. And you can have things like a great new website put in place, but I think um, you can't, understate the importance of video and educational content to drive 100%. that traffic there. hundred percent. That's the thing. More visitors, more leads and more customers. So I think that's Definitely. it for the show today. Thank you everyone for watching. Like always, I hope this brought you a ton of value and go try to implement it on your own. And of course, if you need any help, reach out to us. Thanks for helping and being on the show, Hannah. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Where should anyone go if they want to work with us? automationlinks.com. Boom. Awesome. I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks again.